there have been more allegations about Congressman George Santos's misuse of finances. Of course, this is in addition to him fabricating key details of his background while running for office, prompting more calls from both parties for his resignation. Just wanted to check back in. Does the White House think he should resign? So look, we have we we've said this before, and I think I said it the the um, uh, probably the first few days of this minute of this new Congress uh, in this new year, which is it is up to uh, it is up to the Republican conference uh, who have to decide what they owe the American people. It is their decision to make uh, on on what it means, uh, what they see uh, as it relates to the terms of standards and service. Uh, they have to decide that. It is their conference. He's part of their conference, clearly. But uh, sadly, we have seen that they feel they owe the American people when it comes to standards by the actions that they have taken on this particular individual. Look, um, you know, uh, just looking at the committee that he has been assigned to when it comes to Biden's economic plan uh, and when it comes to the announcement that I made yesterday when it comes to small business, uh, we have seen a business application with over 10 million uh, new small businesses created under this leadership. And so the president takes that very seriously. He takes uh, he takes um, build, making sure that we're building an economy from the bottom up, the middle out, very seriously. And you see that at every part of his policies and every economic policy that he pushes forward. Uh, but again, this is up to the Republican conference to show uh, what they think they owe the American people. So it's their decision to make.